Okay, welcome back to my channel, Brain Logic. Really interesting challenge today. We have 10 minus 6 divided by 2 minus 1. Seems pretty basic, seems pretty easy. We have basic subtraction, basic division, basic subtraction. So it looks like really the question. So right now, pause the video, try to solve it by yourself. What do you think is the correct answer? 1, 4, 3 factorial. So this is a very tricky question. And I hope your answer will be the same as mine because we will check your answers here in just 30 seconds. It will be, it will be really great. So choose one option, what do you think is the correct? And write your option down into the comment section. Here is our expression. So first of all, I want to start with this first interpretation. So a lot of students solve this question like that. So we have 10 minus 6 divided by 2 and minus 1. So a lot of students solve this question like that. They say, okay, we have subtraction right here on the from the left to right. Yeah, they go from left to right in a strict order from left to right. We have 10 minus 6 equal to equal to 4. We have division by 2 minus 1. Let's rewrite it. So once more from the left to right, we have 4 divided by 2 equal to equal to 2. And we have subtraction by 1. So 2 minus 1 equal to equal to 1. And it looks like correct answer is option A. So a lot of students solve this question like that. They say that this is a correct answer to this challenge. But I want you to understand that in math we should know what is the correct order to do this problem. So we can't solve this question randomly. We can't solve this question wherever we want. We should know what is the correct order to do this problem. Because obviously whatever order of operation we select is going to create a different answer, right? So we need to understand what is the correct order to do this problem. So what is the first step? Division, subtraction or this subtraction on the right hand side, this is really important moment. So first of all, let's uh, look at this second interpretation. But we apply this order of operation to this interpretation. So this is PMDMC order of operation. This is a correct order of operation in terms of math. So right now, let's apply this PMDMC to this expression. And let's check with this one. Maybe one is a correct answer. I don't know. I don't know it. But let's check it. Okay, so we have our expression. So we have 10 minus 6 divided by 2 and minus 1. 10 minus 6 divided by 2 minus 1. Okay, so uh, this PMDMC works from the top to the bottom, so parentheses has the highest priority and the lowest priority, addition and subtraction. Okay, so right now let's scan what elements do we have. First step, parentheses. Let's scan where do we have these parentheses. I don't see any of those. We don't have any parentheses, so let's skip this part. We don't have any brackets. We don't have any parentheses. What about exponents? Let's scan. Maybe we have like cubes, squares, 4th power, 10th power. I don't see any of those. We have like a regular expression without any any powers, so we skip this part. It's and it's really great because with parentheses and exponent, this question will be like more complicated. And without it, this is fantastic. Okay, next step: multiplication division group. Let's scan. Where do we have this multiplication and division sign? Let's look at it. So we have subtraction. We have subtraction, and we have division in the middle. And it's really important because we applied this division only to these two values, not to the whole expression like this one divided by this one, only to this six and two. And it's really great. So we skip this multiplication part, and we have this have this division part. And it's really great because this is our first step. So as you can see, as I told before, higher priority on the top, lower priority on the bottom. So the first step, we don't have parentheses, exponent, multiplication, we don't have any of those. We have division part at first step. So we have 10 minus 6 divided by 2 equal to 3 and minus 1. And it's really great. We have a basic subtraction. Right now we don't need our order of operation, but if you're interested in this, we can easily skip this addition part because we don't have it. And we can easily add our subtraction part. We have this second step. This is our this is our subtraction. This is our subtraction part. We don't need our order of operation because this is basic, basic subtraction. 10 minus 3 minus 1 equal to equal to 6. Yeah? We have we have six, and right now maybe the main question: What is the correct answer? Right here we had we had a. Right here we have six, and what is the correct answer? Qu uh, students confused about the correct answer. A lot of students arguing about the correct answer to this question. And here's my answer. Of course, correct answer to this challenge is six. What about this option A? This is absolutely wrong solution because as you can see, we subtract at first, then divide, then subtract. This is very bad and randomly solution. Uh, this is very bad solution in terms of math because we can't go with subtraction at first than division. This is very bad. With parentheses, you can easily do this, because right here we have subtraction inside parentheses, then correct answer right here is 4 at first, then 4 divided by 2 minus 1, okay? With parentheses, correct answer is, is option A, because parentheses at first, then you evaluate the expression inside inside parentheses. Right here we have subtraction, but to be honest, doesn't matter what do we have inside parentheses. Firstly, you should evaluate it. In our case, with parentheses, right here we have 4, then division is second step, and the last step is subtraction. Okay, then we will have like parentheses, a division, subtraction. Correct answer is one with parentheses. In our case, we don't have any parentheses, so we just 
skip this part we don't have it which is really bad which is which is absolutely incorrect because uh, one is incorrect solution okay so right here our six is a correct answer because we solve it according to a correct order of operation okay so we have like division at first then subtraction from from left from left to right which is really important really important moment what about correct option right here we have a b but if you look closely to this c because this is a very tricky moment sometimes student you know goes back to this wrong answer one they say okay we don't have the six and then i go back to this wrong answer one which is really really bad in terms of mass but if you look closely this three factorial this is like nothing scary thing because right here we have like a product from one to three and this is ours the same six we have one times two 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 times three we have we have six so six is the same as three factorial this is like a trick right here so let's write our answer our answer correct answer is option c is a correct answer to this challenge if you don't trust me you can easily check this question in your scientific or graphing calculator you know you can easily plug in but don't use your regular calculator because you know some calculators work with problem as you type it in so you plug in this 10 minus 6 and your calculators you know don't know about the first operation and then instantly subtract it so sometimes calculators gives you 10 minus 6 gives you 4 which is a really bad thing because with parentheses this is good in our case we don't have parentheses so you know you should plug in the whole entire problem when you plug in your calculator okay i have subtraction and uh, division so i know that division is at first because your calculator is smart enough to know the order of operation okay so i hope you understand this i hope you understand this step so correct answer is option c uh, if you made this error i'm happy you made this because you won't make this error again you'll be like okay never get it so let's go ahead and apply the order of operation and you'll get better at this room through, through practice which is really important step so thank you for your time have a great day see you in the next videos and take care of yourself